new intro. You like that shit? <laughs> Made that for you guys. Hope you liked it. So I've always wanted to do an intro video, but I kind of wanted to build up videos to put in it before trying to make one. And I fucked a whole bunch of shit up and I deleted a bunch of old files, so I had to start new. So if you saw all those clips were kind of new. So over time, as I film cooler shit, the intro is going to get replaced and extended with cooler clips. But thank you for joining me today. It's another bummy day. It's cold outside, it's snowing. It was like 60 yesterday. But today we're going to address some of the damage that Weeb Trash took last weekend? Was it last weekend? What is today? The 11th? Yeah, last weekend. I'm not gonna really work on it. I'm just going to kind of get a better look at what got damaged because it's too cold out here for this shit. It's going to be nice all next week. I could do shit next week. So I'm going to get the car up on jack stands, get the wheels off, and, uh, and see what happened. So I've been investigating the rear end and I cannot find out what bent. So on this rear side, when I hit the wall, it say this is my wheel pointing forward. The wall caught onto the wheel and towed it out, bent something. I'm looking under there, I'm comparing to the other side, I'm checking like where the subframe is, seeing if the subframe's bent, the lower control arm to see if it's the same shape. Uh, tow rods, everything, and everything seems fine. Like there's no bends that I can see or anything that's misplaced or out of alignment. So I'm not really sure what that, what caused that. Um, the stock, I think they're called eccentric bolts, I think is what it's called, is the stock adjustment for the toe, where it has that weird lobe with the bolt kind of off to the side. When you tighten it, it moves your toe rod in and out. That's, I think, towed all the way in, which causes my wheel to tow out. So I can turn that back, which I don't remember if it was like that to begin with, but I can turn that and since I have adjustable tow rods, I can try to uh, tow it back in. So I can try to straighten it out and uh, see how straight I can get the wheel, but I something had to have bent and I cannot find out what it is. But if I'm able to get it straightened back out to zero again, and if I get to c drive the car again, then if it feels fine, then I'm just not gonna worry about it. Later on, I can replace the subframe and lower control arms and stuff, but right now, I'm not really in that type of position to be able to. The front, I still have no idea what I'm gonna do about that. I'm gonna probably have to take it to a frame shop and uh, see what they can do, see what magic they can put on this car, but um, I'm gonna keep looking around and I'll update you guys then. So I got the wheel back on as straight as I could, and uh, I couldn't break loose that eccentric bolt, so I just adjusted my toe rods to get it as straight as possible with just using my eyes, not using toe plates or anything. And I got it pretty straight, so this is the body line. So towed in a little bit, which is the same way over here. This is what I went by. So you can see a little towed in. So I got that as straight as I could. It does have a little bit of negative camber, a little bit more than the other side at least. And, but the thing that concerned me was like caster. So like I'm pretty sure my wheel moved backwards because as you can see, I could stick, well, three fingers right here and I can stick three fingers all the way across and then it gets tighter down here. And then on this side, it's about, four fingers and about four fingers all the way around. But the thing is, is I can't really use that as judgment because this side got smashed in, which tweaked up here and back there. And then on this side, that got all smashed in. So you can't really judge off of there either. 
So it's really hard to fucking tell what's going on. But uh, something's bent. Something's wrong. And I cannot find out what it is. I might have somebody else take a look at it, see if they could see anything, but uh, if anything, I'm going to, if I cannot find out what it is, I'm going to see if somebody has some toe plates, do the best alignment I can if I get this thing driving again, and then drive it to an alignment shop, and then have them do a better one, and maybe they can see something that I can't. But the thing that really scared me that might have been the issue is it hit right here and smashed this in pretty far because it should be about right there it's so hard to film this so that got smashed in pretty hard and the thing that scares me is right behind that is where the subframe mounts so I was super scared that the chassis ended up getting actually pushed in right there but I can't see any differences where that mounts looks exactly the same as the other side looks fine everything around it looks fine I don't understand what the fuck happened and I haven't fucked with the front at all yet. There's not really anything I can do to the front myself. You can get a look at this. Ah. So you can see that tension rod bracket is all sorts of fucked. So I have another one. I'm going to pull this one off and try to put the other one on. But I know that the bolts aren't going to line up because the core support down here where it mounts to, which you can see right there if it was in focus and not dark, right there, that core support's moved. They got moved back. So that means that this tension rod, the new one, isn't going to mount up properly. But uh, I can see how far off it is, and then uh, that will show me how bad it's tweaked. But fuck, man, this blows. So I got the new one on, and it's rough. If you look on this side, that's where the other side mounts, and you can see where the core support on the bottom, how there's about a quarter to half inch before the uh, tension rod bracket goes to the end of it and then on this side it's it sticks out so these two bolt holes should actually be like right here so this core support has moved back quite a bit still and another thing I found out which I'm pretty fucking bummed about I'm pretty sure I uh, bent the shit out of my cross member because as the wheel sits right now on the engine bay still far back and then it's really hard to do. I could try to move it over, but if you can see this, it's gonna be hard to eyeball the at alignment. The lower control arm is moved over a lot. The lower control arm's not bent, I don't think. But where it mounts on that cross member, that's that's bent. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Uh, it'd be the smartest thing to just replace it with a new cross member, but the thing I'm really scared of is uh, when I pull this off, the frame's gonna be tweaked right there, and uh, I'm not gonna be able to get another one on. Dude, this blows so much ass. I think this is where I'm going to end today's video. Um, honestly, just looking at it makes me sick to my stomach. I kinda wanna throw up just thinking about all this shit. But there's not much I can really do about the front end by myself. Uh, so what I need to do is find a way to get the car still like drivable up to the point of just driving it up onto a trailer and then schedule a appointment at a frame shop bring it to them and see what they think i really want to reshell really bad but at the same time i don't want to transfer my shit over to the next car i really just want to build a new car but i don't have money i don't have money for that so i need to find a way to get this this car back going again this sucks i really don't I don't want to do anything else to this car. Well, to um, try to lighten the mood a little bit, uh, we can do a mullet update because it's getting pretty wild. I'm wearing a beanie, so my hair's all sorts of fucked up. There's the front. There's the front, and uh, I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see that, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, it's pretty much the only funny thing I got going on right now. I don't know, I'll probably end up shaving this off. It's it's funny, but I don't know. Like when I wake up in the morning, like it's all flared out at the bottom. You can't really see that. I'm a fucking retard. <sighs> but sorry this video is so bummy. Um, you can kind of understand the situation. But uh, I got a lot of thinking to do. I got a lot of planning and shit I got to get figured out.
Uh, import face off is in like less than two months. I doubt I'll be able to do it, but I would like to. But um, yeah, that's where I'm gonna end it today, guys. Uh, next video will probably be me crying or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'll figure something out. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you to everybody who has been here to help keep my head up for this because it doesn't look like much and it really wasn't that bad of a wreck but this is this car is my baby but until next time guys thank you for watching and i'll see you then